hello, it's me, the Bye Book Boy. Um, if you notice, we're in a different background today. Uh, that is because it is my friend Will's birthday. Say hello. <laughs> this is my friend Will. It is his birthday trip. His birthday was a couple of weeks ago, but we're doing like a birthday trip for him because we're both fully vaccinated. Yay! So we went to um, this cute little Airbnb and I wasn't gonna do like anything here, um, but this place is too like fucking cute not to do like a reading vlog in and I'm reading on this trip anyway, cause why the fuck not? So um, I'm gonna show y'all around. This is the kitchen where we just ate. <laughs> Will's posing. <laughs> here we are. It's like, look at this. Oh, this cottage core, like realness. Yeah, here we are. And like, look at this fucking, look at the fucking garden out there. And then like, oh, burps. Okay, here's the kitchen. Look at just like the stove and like everything. Like, it's so cute. And then look at this fucking fireplace. Can you, and they already have it set up to read near the fireplace. Like, can you fucking, can you fucking, um, in this way. Heaven. <laughs> just, just, just heaven. Just heaven. Look at, like, all of these fucking books. Oh, and it's me. Um, all, like, look at this. It's just, it's like that. It's like that, that movie with, like, Kate Winslet and Jack Black. Um, it's like a Christmas movie, and, like, she lives in, like, a fucking cottage and shit. Look at this bedroom. Oh my God. And a kitchen. Look, like, isn't this just, can you imagine? And then like out here, like they have like this whole like area that's like, I don't know. I can't like really get in there, but yeah, I'm gonna try. But like, oh, look at this. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll check in later tonight when I actually read. Okay, guys, we're at the first night, and I am reading The Swede. This is the monthly book for the Bi Book Club. Um, we're discussing this the first week of May, so everybody tune in. Um, but I'm super excited so far. It's like a bisexual James Bond. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna get back to you later. Hey guys, so it is the next morning. Look at this cute area I've been reading. Um, I am a hundred pages into the Swede. I love it. Um, I won't give too many thoughts on it yet because we're still experiencing things. I like the way the POV switch. Um, you're gonna get a lot more detailed review of this from me on the live that Kelsey and Emily and I will do at the first week of May, but I'll check in later. Let's go find Will, guys. Ugh. Yay. So Sir. I'm reading. I'm actually reading two books. I like to kind of juggle books at the same time because I'm a slow reader and I kind of like... He's a professional. <laughs> not really. Um, yeah. so I'm reading Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. I really recommend this to anyone who's creative, specifically if you're a writer. She really talks about, you know, combating writer's block and it's like writer's block isn't really a thing and, you know, just like how to be like a strong, creative person and like really like have longevity in your creative practice really really good Big yeah Magic. and then i'm also reading this joan didion the white album this is such a good book if you love like the late 60s early 70s vibe um she writes um some of it's kind of memoir-y and mm -hmm. then um some of it's you know just about like her um experiences kind of being a part of the culture and you know she like goes to the studio with the doors and she also like writes about like um meeting one of the manson girls and like buying the manson girls one of a, dr a, a dress um for court and like um you know she writes about the black panthers and it's just a really amazing book if you love that time period which i do and a uh, really phenomenal writer amazing cool yeah, yeah. It's good. cool oh yeah you said writer tell him what you do will <laughs> yeah oh i work at a documentary company but uh my main 
passion has always been writing, so <laughs> we'll check back in tonight. <laughs> To San Francisco and um, traveled around the just the greater San Francisco area. We got to see uh, the Hyde Ashbury district, which was really cool. Uh, and then we got to go to the Castro district, which is really cool because that is the gay district. We got to go be gay amongst the gays. Um, it was super fun. Um, and we actually stopped by a gay bookstore called Dog Eared Books. Um, and it was super fucking cute. And I bought three books, so I'm gonna do a little mini book haul. Um, I bought The Last Night at the Telegraph Club. Telegraph, Telegraph, The Last Night at the Telegraph Club by um, Melinda Lowe. I've heard incredible fucking things about this on the internet, and I'm super excited to read it. And I also bought The Sluts by Dennis Cooper. Um, I had never heard of this, but it is about a website for like gay male escorts, which sounds fucking incredible. It was rated in the top 25 by The Village Voice, um, and it sounds fucking incredible, and I want to read it, so I'm gonna. Um, and then I picked up Anxious People by Frederick Bachman because everyone keeps telling me that I need to fucking read this book, so I'm going to. At some point, I have to go live in San Francisco, I've decided. Um, when, <laughs> when we jump about three income brackets, but still. Um, yeah, anyway though, I am halfway through the Swede. Um, I won't tell you a lot because I'm gonna save my opinions for the live stream. Um, however, I think it's really cool. Um, the bi representation in our main spy is really fucking cool. Um, also, there's a lot of really positive, um, HIV positive representation here, um, which I find really cool. Um, and I just really enjoy this narrative style and this writing style, so I'm super fucking excited to discuss it. Probably gonna try and finish it tonight or tomorrow morning. I will let you know. Uh, but yeah, check in later. <sighs> it's our last morning here. I'm almost done with the book. I think I'm gonna finish it tonight when I get home. Um, I'll give you my thoughts when I'm done, but we'll keep the thoughts spoiler free because we got that discussion coming. Um, but yeah, one last goodbye to places. Yeah, this overhanging like isn't that just gorgeous? Anyway, real quick, we're gonna find all of our favorite books in this house before we leave. <laughs> Okay, hi friends. 
Um, I'm back in LA. It is the next morning. Um, after that drive, I got home and I, I binge napped. <laughs> um, it was a good time. Um, but on the drive home, I finished reading The Swede. Um, this is actually, I don't know, one of my favorite spy novels I've ever read. Um, I, I don't know, I love spy novels. I was like, super into like James Bond and shit as a kid um and I have always wanted as an actor to when they do eventually do a bisexual or gay um James Bond twist like a you know James Bond but gay um this is my formal application to be a Bond boy please and thank you um I know exactly where I fit in those movies I am not the spy I am the gay love interest. That's what I am. That's what I want. This is, please, give this opportunity to me. Anyway, such as in this movie, I would be, in the, if they adapted this movie, I would be Ben. Um, so please, please, I want to play Ben so bad, please. Um, yeah, I love this book. Any more criticism or discussion, you can hear in the live next week that Emily and Kelsey and I are doing, um, first week of May gonna be an adventure and I'm so excited but here's your official preview for it uh thanks for coming along with me and enjoying a little bookish vacation um everybody go get vaccinated so y'all can do the same you'll have a, a there's a, a regular moral review coming out on Friday morning as usual um so we'll go back to our usual content then but until Friday this has been the bye book boy I'm saying bye